Dragons are caring, compassionate, courteous, friendly, imaginative, likable, sociable, and thoughtful. They desire tasty food, develop relationships, have very characteristics and diverse appearances. Oh, not unlike humans. The Three Dragons was written by a young boy with assistance from his father and cousin. The story was immortalized with a book published locally and placed in his elementary school library. Once upon a time, there were three dragons, and they lived in a large white house. The house was on a hill and was near a big city called Dragon Town. The three dragons also had a dragon dog. The dragon dog was one year old, and everybody called him Tyrell. The dragons bought the large white house because dragon dogs get very big when they get old. Each of the three dragons were a different color. One dragon was white, and his name was Rufus. The second dragon was red, and his name was Louis. The third dragon was blue, and his name was Speedy. Rufus and Louis gave Blue Dragon his name because he was very fast. On a beautiful and sunny Saturday afternoon, the dragons wanted to take a drive in their cars. They decided that Rufus, the white dragon, would take his car out and Lewis and Speedy would stay home. Rufus went to the garage and got his big white car. Rufus went driving for a long time and waved to all his friends as he drove down the road. When Rufus came home, he told Lewis and Speedy how nice it was to drive the car on a sunny day. Lewis added that he also wanted to take his car and go for a drive. Lewis went to the garage and got his small and shiny red car. It was such a nice day that Lewis went for a long drive and waved to all his friends as he drove down the road. Lewis even stopped at a park and played with some little dragon kids. The dragon kids were playing Dragon Ball and Lewis helped them. After one hour, Lewis felt tired and decided to go home. All the dragon kids thanked him for playing with them. On the way home, Lewis stopped at the ice cream store and bought the ice cream to take home. He brought Lufus a white Wonder Dragon cone with vanilla ice cream. He bought Speedy a blue blizzard cone with lots of nuts on top. And he bought himself a big cup of the Red Dragon Special. The Red Dragon Special had many flavors mixed together with special red syrup on top. The Red Dragon Special was Lewis's favorite. When Lewis showed the other dragons what he had bought for them, they were very happy and thanked him five times. Tyrell the Dragon Dog had just woke up and came to the kitchen and saw Rufus, Lewis, and Speedy eating ice cream. Tyrell found out that Lewis did not bring a treat for him and became mad and barked very loud. Rufus asked Speedy to go to the store and get Tyrell a treat. Rufus and Lewis always ask Speedy to go someplace because he is very fast and can go and come back in a short time. Speedy went to the dragon market and bought some good dragon biscuits. Tyrell was now happy again. After having their ice cream, all three dragons sat on the couch and rested. 
Speedy said that he was going to take his car out for a drive since Rufus and Louis already did. But it was getting late and it was going to be dark soon, so Speedy said it would be a short drive. Speedy went to the garage and jumped in his car. His car was a beautiful dark blue and it was the fastest car in all of Dragon Town. As Speedy drove down the road, he waved to all his friends. He stopped by the bowling cave called Dragon Bowl and talked to more of his friends. Speedy then decided that it was time to get back home to Rufus and Louis. When Speedy got home, they all decided to play drag and fetch with Tyrell. Rufus went into Tyrell's basket and found a big squeaky yellow ball. The yellow ball was Tyrell's favorite. The ball was thrown up and down the hill by Rufus, Lewis, and Speedy. Tyrell was getting very tired from all the running around and it was beginning to get too dark outside to play. So they all decided to go in the house and get ready for bed. Rufus, Lewis, and Speedy found their pajamas and put them on. They all washed their hands and faces and brushed their big sharp teeth. It was now time for bed and they went to sleep. Tyrell also went to sleep, but he did not wash up or put pajamas on, since dragon dogs do not do those kind of things. And that was a day in the life of the three dragons. The end. Ruff, 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 ruff. The Three Dragons is dedicated to Tommy's mom. The story was based on ideas by Tommy Warda and was written by Tommy and his dad. We hope this story brought a little smile to everyone. <laughs> oh, a special thanks to Alex for his efforts in bringing the word to life. <laughs> when the story was written, Tommy was seven years old <laughs> and attended Euclid Hills Elementary School. He was in second grade and his teacher was Mrs. Rose. <laughs> Tommy is now a graduate of the University of Illinois, and he lives in Champaign, Illinois. <laughs>